All right, this is grade five, module two, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are gonna be taking uh, kind of a continuation of lesson one, where students are, are given this fraction, this context, and are sharing that, con that fraction, that thing, amongst a variety of people. Uh, we're gonna continue using that concrete idea of drawing pictures and, and to help us really understand. So uh, we're not just teaching a rule, which, you know, like when you wanna turn this fraction into a mixed number, divide and blah, 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 blah. No, we wanna make it make sense. So uh, that's the whole point of lesson two. So let's get started. And the idea here, uh, parents and teachers, is to allow students a variety of choices in how they think about and how they go about solving these problems. For example, number one, it says complete the equation and the statement by using uh, a mixed number. So we're gonna take this story and we're gonna write it as a mixed number. It says draw a model, yay, we get to draw a model, but then it also says divide. Now, parents and teachers, if students are struggling with this dividing stuff, let your students continue drawing a model because that's the whole point, is to help students choose between the concrete, the pictorial representation, or the abstract. And so all kids are solving the same problem, just some students are solving it in the concrete, others are solving it in the pictorial representation, that's the R, other students are solving it in the abstract. All right, so uh, let's get cracking at this problem. It says we've got seven apples that are shared equally by four friends. There's a couple of ways we can solve this. and uh, But in this lesson, we're going to solve it in this way. So I'm gonna draw seven apples and that's my apple. I know it's a lame looking apple, but it's easier for me to cut things up when they're nice and rectangles. So there's two, there's three, four, there's five, six, and I need one more. So there are my seven apples and I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller right there. So there's my seven apples and I need to share these seven apples amongst four friends. And so I can say, all right, so person, so friend um, A gets this one, friend B gets this one, C and D. And now at this point, I don't have enough apples to continue sharing the way I did because right now each person gets one full apple and I have to figure out how to share these three remaining apples amongst the four friends. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to take those apples and we are going to cut them into four pieces each. And then we're gonna say, all right, now person A, B, C, and D each get a fourth. Person A, B, C, and D get a fourth, a second fourth. And then person A, B, C, and D each get a fourth. So now we can see that each person, let's say person A, what does person A get? Person A gets one whole apple plus three fourths of an, of an apple left over. And there it is, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth right there. And we can see that each person is gonna get the exact same amount. Person B gets one whole apple plus three fourths over there. So we can see that seven divided by four, so seven apples shared amongst four friends is one and three fourths. Of course, we also remember we could have written it as, we could have written it as seven fourths, remember that? Uh, but now we are also learning that that means one and three fourths, so each person uh, each of these four people gets one full apple plus three-fourths left over. In fact, there it is. Each friend gets one and three-fourths apples. Now, we're being asked to divide, and we're going to connect this to that algorithm, the idea of saying, okay, well, four goes into seven one time, 
and then we subtract and we get three left over. And so that is telling us we have one and three fourths apples. All right, so question two, divide and express the quotient as a mixed number. Again, same exact problem as problem one, only it's different numbers. Uh, but this time I'm not going to, uh, uh, so, well, no, let's do it. Let's draw nine apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're sharing it amongst two people. So what does that mean? So that looks like I can say, well, person A is going to get four apples. Person A gets four apples. Person B gets four apples. But then we have that last apple that we need to share. Well, that's easy to share because we know we're just going to cut it into two pieces. And person A gets one of those and person B gets one of those. So I can see that person A gets four whole apples plus a half right there. And so 9 divided by 2 gives us 4 and 1 half apples. And we can do that in our long division right here. 2 goes into 9 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. We subtract and that gives us 1 left over and that tells us our answer is 4 whole apples plus one half, one out of two. All right, so here we're going straight to the abstract. We're just giving us, they're just giving us straight up numbers. So 52 divided by six. So 52, first off, we know that 52 divided by six is 52 over six. But now we wanna figure out if we have 52 apples, and we're sharing those apples amongst six people. So what would that look like? Well, another way we can draw this is we could say, here's 52 apples and we're sharing it amongst six people. And I wanna know how much does each person get? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do some long division. 52 divided by six. And I know that 52 divided by uh, 6 goes into 52 uh, 8 times. So 6 times 8 is 48. And we get 4 left over. And so that's the four, 4 little apples left over being shared amongst our 6 people. And so our answer is 8 and 4 6. So each person got eight full apples and four sixths of an apple left over. All right. And now we've got some review, some remembering. So seven and two eighths take away three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna think of this one as a number line. And I'm gonna say, if I start with three and seven eighths, what do I have to add to get to two and seven eighths. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of little hops. So I'm gonna begin by doing one hop of one eighth. That gets me to four. Then I can do a hop of three. That gets me to seven. And then all I have to do is do a little bit of a hop of two eighths. And now I'm at seven and two eighths. And so what did I have to add all together, I needed to add three and three eighths. Because all I needed to do is add these guys across the top. All right, now Jada. Jada measures the growth of 10 tomato plants and lists the data in a table. Use the data in the table to create a line plot. So, okay, so here's our line plot. And we're gonna do a bunch of little X's like that kind of a thing. And let's see, it looks like my smallest number is five, five eighths? No, four eighths. It looks like my smallest number is four eighths. And it looks like my largest number looks to be 
one and three eighths. So it looks like I can start at zero. I can go all the way up to two and I can do everything in eighths. So I'm gonna cut each whole number into eighths. Right there are eighths, and then I'm gonna cut this one into eighths. And now let's do our little line plot. So one and two eighths, where is that gonna go? That one and two eighths is gonna go right there. Seven eighths is gonna go right here. One and three eighths is gonna go right there. One and two eighths, hey, we have our first repeat. Five eighths, one, two, three, four, five eighths. One hole is gonna go right here. One and two eighths is gonna go right here. Four eighths is gonna go right there. Six eighths is gonna go right there. And seven eighths is gonna go right there. And there is our line plot. What is the difference in inches uh, between the growth of the plant with the greatest amount, so that would be this guy, and the growth with the least amount, that would be this guy. So that's four eighths. And we want to go all the way up to one and three eighths. So we want to know what is the difference between these two. So again, I'm going to think of it as a number line. I'm going to put four eighths here. I'm going to put one and three eighths here. And I want to figure out what do I have to add to get from four eighths to one and three eighths. So I'm going to do a little bit of a hop of four eighths. And that's going to put me right here at one hole. Then I'm gonna do another little bit of a hop to get to three eighths, uh, one and three eighths, so that's another three eighths. And so I can see that I added four eighths plus three eighths, and our answer is seven eighths. All right, folks, that is, let's see, that is uh, grade five, <laughs> module two, lesson two, and don't forget to subscribe.